They probably most likely cover it up just in case you know anyone was outside so they wouldn't scare the other students from seeing what happened. Do you know what uh, initiated this fight? No, no. Some kids uh, have anger issues so it probably caused some kid to do something they'll, they'll regret for their lives. Okay. Oh, so did you see or hear anything? No, all I saw was the student. but. They covered him with a white sheet. He's probably 5'8 to 5'10. He was tall, and I'm not sure if the kid's all right, but I hope he is. Oh uh, Yeah, they're reporting that he's stable, 15 years old. Okay. I, I hope that his parents are doing well, and I hope he's doing well, and I hope that he makes a full recovery. All right, thanks so much. You want to give your name? Uh, my name is Armando Escamillo. Uh, could you spell it, please? Uh, A-R-M-A-N-D-O. E S C A M I L O A. Right, thanks so much. And um, how many kids do you have here? <laughs> one. One. And how did you hear about this? My daughter texted me. If she wouldn't text, I even wouldn't know what's going on. So the school had in contact no. with you. And the school, I told school, no one picks up the phone. And uh, what was going through your mind when your daughter texted you? Or your child? I was thinking that I have to rush and take my daughter. No matter what, it's like it's just to take her. But when I came, it's appeared that I cannot. They have no information at all. I don't know if he's still there and he left. Uh, tons of police around, and no one knows what's going on. Like, they say stay calm, everything is fine, but it's not the answer. They have to give parents to know what's going on. Like you know, somebody has to be outside and say. Because if you don't know nothing, it will be worse. But my daughter says, nobody are safe in class, everything is fine, we are locked down. I don't know how long we're going to be here, I feel unsafe, I'm going to go home and do some that. And now that you are here, just seeing all this, what is that like for you? For me, it's like, I don't know, I don't feel nothing, like I feel everything. I, 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 I cannot tell you what I feel. I feel the police has to do with this place. Detectors, what is metal detectors, what it says has to be active every day. And they have to take a sign and uh, scan each one, each child, like when they enter the school. And I don't know, I don't know, I saw on the citizen app they say that he left the in entrance. How he could move? In the third floor, he went to the third floor, stepped and then left through the exit, by an e entrance? What's going on here? <laughs> Where is police? And um, your daughter, has she ever complained about not feeling safe here? No, she always happy in school. This is, she says, Mama, I love my school. It's very nice school. She she wanted to go, it was her first choice, and she's very happy. 
the school and environment, and she says his safety and teachers, everything. She just loved the school. But uh, what happened today, I, I, I do not understand. I believe the problem is because police has to be always there. Always, in each school in Brooklyn has to be present police. Like, not security guards, not some public blah, 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 but the police. Thank you so much. And your name, if you wouldn't mind just saying My name is Anna. And your last name? I don't know. That's okay. Thank you so much. Sorry you're wrong for this. Is that a little upsetting to you? It is, but then at the same time, you gotta be, uh, can't let the emotions kind of dictate. So it's a situation I kind of know that things are probably different. So I can't expect somebody to be in front of me to pick up and answer the phone. And I called right the minute I saw the report, so it's around like 9.30. I mean, this can't be something you, as a parent, love to see come across. No, I don't think anybody wants to see that. You're saying kids to go to school. You want them to be safe. You want them to be protected. Um, you want them to learn. So, these situations, even if your child's not harmed, if your child witnessed it, you want them to harm them. You don't want them to be safe. You don't want them to have any type of, you know, PTSD about walking through the halls. Gotcha. And could you say for us one more time, the last time you connected with your son, what he said was happening kind of floor by floor and just your reaction to it happening after the fact. Yeah, they said they was going through um, metal detectors. I thought it was silly because I felt like um, to do these things after the fact. And I know a lot of schools don't like metal detectors because it makes you look like you're unsafe. But I think we live in a time right now that, you know, a guy kind of ignores the visuals and tries to protect the kids. I, I agree with you. I feel like the optics have really changed over the last few years. Before it was like, you know, like metal 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 detectors feel so intrusive, but now like parents are almost hoping schools have it. Yeah, because any, anything can happen. So somebody walked in here with a knife. Uh, we're talking about teenagers, highly emotional. Anything can happen. So the only thing I want to do is make sure my child is protected. And you know, that's the first thing. We, you know, that kind of shows you the What's your name, sir? Oh, my name is Marvin. <laughs> Marvin? Yes. And what's your last name, Marvin? Zillman. How do you spell that? V-I-L-M-A. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. We're on a trip, right? Where'd you guys yeah. go? We went to the Holocaust Museum. So exciting. Yeah. So how'd you guys hear about the stabbing? Through school officials or other Social students? Media. And yeah. like our friends texted us. They're like, oh my god, Genesis, you won't believe it. There's a somebody got stabbed. There's a there's a lockdown. We're all gonna die. Save our souls. And then yeah, like we just told everybody else on the bus so they could be informed about the situation. Yeah. You know, because like great minds are cool. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your reaction when you found out? We didn't believe it at first. Yeah. I was relieved. Until it was like multiple people saying the same thing. Yeah. Then it was like Everybody on the bus was finding out at the same time. Like the whole bus. Yeah. Whoa. Do you guys like know the kid that got stabbed or maybe a possible We don't know about like the people that were involved in it. I don't think they said yeah, 15 year old, I think. But I don't know. Yeah, what else? Are you guys want to give your names? Jessica, Jada, Alejandro, Genesis. <laughs>